What is up guys, it's Allie and I'm here with another video today. Comic Con is underway and we're just getting DC news left and right. We got a new picture of Black Manta. It's not really like a picture from the movie, but it is apparently the actual uh, suit that he's going to be wearing in the movie. And it looks so, so good. I didn't want to do a separate video on it because, you know, the trailer is coming out on Saturday. So I figured we'll probably be talking quite a bit about Aquaman. So I didn't really feel like it was necessary to do a separate video just based off of uh, Black Manta's suit that was up in Comic-Con. But it does look fantastic. I absolutely love it. But the main reason why I'm doing this video today is because the Joker origin movie has been announced like, the release date has been announced. This is moving forward so, so quickly, which makes me think that they have a really hot script that they are just so excited about. Uh, but the release date is going to be October 4th, and in this Hollywood Reporter, I believe it's like an exclusive from them, they are talking about how the movie is going to be extremely experimental, and it's going to be just really dark and different from what the other uh, DC films have done. It makes it even seem like it's going to be even different from The Dark Knight, which I think is really, really cool. I can't wait to see what they do with this. Uh, but yeah, it's coming out in October, and you know, 2019 is shaping up to be a great year for DC. Not only does it have uh, Shazam in April, it's got now this in October, which we obviously did not expect, and uh, Wonder Woman 1984 in uh, November. So yeah, that's really, really cool. I honestly cannot wait to see what they're doing with this. And actually, they have announced the title. It's just going to be called Joker. Seriously, this release date is so, so brilliant because it's right before Halloween. Um, October is like the perfect month for this type of movie, I think, especially with what they seem to be going with as far as a darker tone, uh, which just makes sense for the character. But for it to be called Joker, it's just, it's really cool. And um, I, I'm so excited. This is probably, this is really exciting news for me. And it's not just that it's like um, news that we don't get often, but it's because it's the Joker character. And it's also because it's coming in such quick succession. It makes me think that they really know what they're doing. And I'm really, really happy that DC is, you know, pulling an act together and they really seem to be creating a turnaround. Now, obviously, we have to wait till we see these movies to know if they're really doing this. Um, and another thing I just wanted to mention was I remember Comic-Con uh, 2014, I want to say, or 2014, 2015, maybe, uh, when the Suicide Squad like special trailer was released and it was leaked and then they released it officially and there was that last scene of Jared Leto's Joker and that was kind of the first official scene that we've seen of him for Suicide Squad and everyone just went nuts we just lost it that was what we wanted the fans are craving for this type of dark and gritty Joker story and I think this movie might be what we're what what's in store for that and I think you know, DC realizes that the Joker and Batman and, you know, Batman's rogue gal rogues gallery are hot, hot topic, and they really do draw in a crowd. The Joker is just a trump card of all villains, not even in just comic book villains, but in villains in general, and that's, you know, a great thanks to the brand recognition of it, but I also think the Dark Knight has a lot to play with that as well. But, you know, that was the Joker thing that we wanted with Suicide Squad. It didn't turn out, but I think we're going to get it, guys. And that makes me so, so excited. You guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye!